We got our super food right here. <laughs> it's right there. Huh? <laughs> it's just a cute little worm. <laughs> What's wrong? Where's the monster? <laughs> yeah, it's eating <laughs> an apple. Uh? <laughs> Stop, Reggie! All living beings have the right to leave, whatever they are. Besides, that worm has a family, and someday it will become a butterfly. Um, yeah, sure, and I am a mermaid. If it eats all what it needs and you leave it on a tree, it will become a cocoon. Cocoon what? The cocoon, it's like a little house. Oh, like my igloo. Sort of, but warmer. Inside of it, the worm grows, changes, and transforms <sighs> into a butterfly. Wow. There's nothing happening. No, it's going to eat it. Super food time. Reggie, with most respect, all living beings. That includes birds. But the bird wants to eat the cocoon. It's a um, cocoon. It's gonna feed itself to grow up, just like you. Are you hungry for an apple? <laughs> These are great! And now I can jump much higher! <laughs> You shouldn't do that. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's never happened before. I will clean it. It was nothing. My shoes are already clean. Let's go to the dressing room. Wow. Each of you have a closet? You have one too, Reggie. <sighs> you can see how you look on the mirror, and also you can choose what to wear. <sighs> and with the luminous tube, you can change in a plus plus. And here you can make whatever piece of clothing you wish for. Wow! I love this dressing room. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? Someone has a leak and it isn't myself. I found a poodle. It was Snowball. Since we came here, he is very nervous. In the North Pole, he didn't do these things. Oh. Operation Cannon Cleaning. Have you taken it out to the garden at all? The garden? No. Pets need to take a walk every single day. They need to do their business and connect, connect. <gasps> we must clean Sparky! Connect with nature, like you girls. <laughs> you are right, Sparky. Let's go, Snowball, to the garden. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Snowball. I was so worried about other things I forgot about you. Forgive me. <laughs> Initiating Operation Fluff. This is very boring. <laughs> I wish some 
thing would happen. If only we could just use our superpowers. It's a fluff of wishes. It's mine. I saw it first. <laughs> My butterfly. Mine. Don't look at us like that. It's a fluff of wishes. We never see them. We can wish for whatever we want. They are not fluffs. They are the seeds of a flower. Yeah, right. Flying seeds. And we're... Surrounded. Oh. Wow. It's a mission. Super Cuties! Butterflies. <gasps> Look! What could it be? <sighs> what? What is this? Is it real? Do not separate! Welcome to the Green Club! Who... who is speaking? I'm Sparky! An advanced and organic intelligence that has... We are very good! We weren't biting, we were playing to find the fluff just because... It's not a fluff! They are the seeds of a flower! Take that, Cece! It's a dandelion! Lion, take over! <laughs> oh, relax, you're safe! Nature has its secrets! Things aren't always what they seem! For example, the butterfly once was a worm! <laughs> take that, Sophie! When the dandelion dries, it blooms into a fluff, and if there's wind, the seeds fly away and so more flowers can bloom. Wow, how nice! Okay, but what are we doing here? Well, <laughs> there is no way. I was designed to be quiet, please, to control the balance of nature so that living beings could grow. But humans don't touch, keep wasting resources, and they are running out. I need your help. I need a super cute team! <gasps> Did you say super cute? You can count on us! Lately I've been running out of energy. I need your superpowers to touch me again and... That's, That's all done. done! Water! Sun! Flowers! Wind! Superpowers! <laughs> oh, yes! That tickles! I feel brand new! Watch! So, are we friends? Of course! You're at home! Yes! <laughs> Humans are such a curious species. I may grow fond of them. I wish I was a butterfly! <laughs> Sparky? Uh, uh, he's asleep. Sparky! Eh? Uh, pros processing. Full load. Processing baby cute surprise. Baby cute. I present to you Baby Cute, an advanced device designed for your missions. Wow. Like a cell phone, but kind of cooler. Alarm system, toothbrush, umbrella, ricicle bean. Oh, and teleportation. Teleportation? Oh? Uh, you call this teleportation? I can just walk. Yeah. I'm an extraordinary artificial intelligence, but my resources are limited. The baby cute needs to recharge, just like me. Without energy, things don't work. Sparky! Eh? Oh, yeah. While it recharges... <gasps> you can go to the super dress room. Wow, how cool! It has everything you need for your missions. Something very important. Use it in a moderate way so you don't generate an overload in the system. I didn't understand what he said. Baby cute? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, it's me! Impressive! A super match! 
shake a mirror. Wait your turn. <laughs> now it's me. my turn. No, accessories. Are those glasses? It's my turn. No, my turn. Wow, I, I want, want it. it. <gasps> Super baby cute. I said baby cute. Super baby cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, I want it. My turn. My unit. Uh oh, Sparky. 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 It's broken. It's broken. Sparky. Should we give it to him? What if we use our powers to help it restart faster? Super cute! Super cute! It didn't work. Oh no, I guess Sparky is broken. <laughs> Wake up, Sparks! Am I real? Am I handsome? Sparky! Machines do not get sick that we can overload. Uh, here it is. Sustainable development. My system does not run out of it, but if it's used in excess, it is time to recover. Like the baby cute, or like the planet. Like our powers. That's right. There are natural, technological, limited, and unlimited resources. You just have to use it with moderation. And so... <sighs> you just have to let it be renewed so that... Whoa, it looks like they need to recharge. Tomorrow's gonna be a great day. <laughs> and now a little bit of water with my favorite watering can. And Little Red Riding Hood went to the beach. What? The story doesn't go like that. Mm, I just can't see. Let me handle it. <sighs> my powers are getting much more stronger. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Oh no, there's no water. Nice, Kala, you are the best. Thank you. My water again! <laughs> it's my favorite water again. What's wrong with me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break it. I just wanted to save the green club. Could you forgive me? Sparky, Sophie lost her voice. Can you do something about it? If she has lost it, I can help you find it. Locating Sophie's voice. No, her voice is hoarse now. Ah, hoarseness. Let me check my database. There is a tree that cures hoarseness with the oil extracted from its leaves. The rainbow eucalyptus. Wow, how nice. Well, then it's settled. We're going to the nearest rainbow eucalyptus. Don't forget your superfood. Super cute. Poor thing, it is very sad and colorless. Shall we take a selfie? We're not partying. It's a sad tree. This is not its home. What's that? I know, a dancer, a pyramid, an Egyptian tree. We have to take the tree with us. I know that movie, The Lion King. We have to get it out of here. Oh, this isn't its house, and we have to get him out of here. But where do we take it? Sparky, any ideas? There are several options, as long as it's a place with lots of water nearby. If you were a tree, where would you like to live? On the beach, all day in the sun. No, in a snowy mountain, so it can breathe in fresh air. I think we have to take it where its friends are, so it's not all alone. That's it. There. <sighs> <laughs> How do we take it? It's giant! Maybe I can rip it off with a lot of wind! <sighs> I can try to make a giant wave! <sighs> it's so tiny! We must protect it! Oxygen bubble! Cha! Aquatic protection! Huh. And some sun shield! And 
now Sophie's voice. Testing, testing, yes! I have a voice again! Yahoo! <sighs> Here, I hope you can forgive me. I have <sighs> learned an important lesson that things must be treated carefully, like the eucalyptus. Thank you! It is the nicest watering can uh, in the whole uh, wide uh. world! Why are you so close to each other? Are you cold? <laughs> Racing thermostat. Starting processors for Supercute Mission! It's not that sparky. I'm scared of the dark and I really can't sleep. We uh, can't either. Activating bedtime story. Once upon a time, a place where the light shines and dances in the dark. Oh, and where is this place? I want to see it. Me too. Me too. Oh, well. Activating explanation mode. Maybe they will fall asleep. This natural phenomenon is called polar aurora. Wow. But where is it? In the southern hemisphere, it is known as aurora australis. And in the north, as aurora borealis. Let's go see them. I don't know why I tell them anything. Where are the auroras? You can't even see the stars. Did you hear that? I think someone's following us. Who could live here all alone with so much cold? Come on, let's go look for the pretty lights. It Sparky, we can't see anything at all out here. Hmm, there is light pollution. With so much artificial light, you cannot see natural light. Look, the lights are coming from there. It looks like a small town, but how are we going to shut down an entire city? I got it. Piece of cake with clouds. When there are clouds, there's, there's no, no sun. sun. Super cute! Throw water at me, Kala. <laughs> to the city, Cece. Huh. <sighs> 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 the stars! <sighs> I knew someone was following us. Who is it? 